G'day mates, we're now finally actually going to make the journey home. Not that we really want to, we've been staying on Olive Tree Farm, uh, farm stay, which has been great. Um, they've got the Margaret River Deli and Smokery that we've basically <laughs> just eaten from every single day. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much to Benji and Helen for looking after everyone here during this weird time. Um, we're not really excited to go home, but unfortunately we have to, so... If you do get a chance when everything opens back up to stay somewhere, definitely recommend coming here. And make sure you plan to stay for at least a week, if not two. We've been here five and we literally could stay a lot longer. Yeah, it's very comfortable. There's everything you need here. It's all good. See you later. Good news everyone, or maybe not good news, I don't know. I'm actually a passenger right now. A little bit tired after doing like basically five hours worth of driving. So we have a new captain of the chariot. I'm just gonna sit over here and go to sleep, it's great. How do you feel so far? Fine. 10 and 2 on the steering wheel, good, I like that. Got the navigations here. And we're just gonna keep on uh, pushing on. We we're just doing this dirt road instead of going all the way down to Esperance. So we've come through Ravensthorpe. That was the first um, interaction with police. They just came and said, where have you been? Where are you going? Have a good time. So, so good so far. In about two hours, we should get to Norseman, then we can stock up on diesel and then start to head east along the Nullarbor and um, then tomorrow, hopefully, we uh, get into South Australia, no worries at all. And we can switch drivers. And yeah, we can switch drivers back. Why are you? Have you had enough? No, I'm doing good. I'm on the dirt. Look at me go. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. Just a little bit of dust, everything's okay. Better look at the map. You're still on track so far. Well, this is where we made it to last night. About 80 kilometers into the Nullarbor. Did you have fun? So, reasonably good progress. G'day mates. Day two of the uh, Australia 5000. <laughs> Today we'll probably get another thousand kilometers done. Or close to. We're on the Nullarbor now. And we're gonna try and um, cross most of it. So we'll see how we go today. Good boy. Lay down. Welcome back to the chariot. Some oxygen going in here truck pulling in, hopefully we're out of his way. Gives you a good size of how big these rigs are. First trailer, second trailer, third trailer. Anyway, get our trip meter set. So we did yesterday, 79.7 kilometers. We'll see how far we can get today. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Well, this is what we're doing today, basically driving the straight road. We're on the um, part of the Nullarbor that still has trees. In not too much further along, we'll actually get to the part where there is no trees, so that's the treeless plains. So far, we haven't hit anything, which is a good, good start. We've seen a few things that have been hit, though, so there's definitely animals about. So yeah, this is, this is all we're going to record of this because it's not really that exciting as you can see. 
Well, this is the treeless part of the null ball, as you can see. We're about oh, getting close to 200 kilometres into today. There is some, uh, some wildlife on the road from time to time. Like these bastards. Welcome back to the chariot. As you were, would have seen from the last video, our the chariot didn't, didn't go so well. So that's a story for another day, another time. But for now, we're in the trusty Holden, Colorado. We've gone from two liters to 2.8 liters. So a couple more, uh, not quite a whole nother milk carton worth of engine. We've just gone through Kimber, which is halfway across Australia. And hopefully by the end of today, we'll be into New South Wales. So we're basically just doing three states in three days. Look at the sunset, the sun's sunrise, I should say. We've been averaging about a thousand kilometres per day, so. Try 1300, 1300 oh. whatever. I don't know, I just drive. So we're going to just keep going, hopefully, get into um, Broken Hill late this afternoon, tonight ish. Cobar. Cobar. Well, no, we're going through Broken Hill to get to Cobar. <laughs> yeah, but we'll be in Broken Hill at lunchtime. <laughs> So hopefully this trusty steed will get us the whole way because the other one wasn't so trusty on the way home. Um, we'll keep you updated and hopefully everything goes well. The boss, he's, he's just having a snooze. He's got the shits. Sick of being in the car every day. But that's where we're up to. Good news everyone, we've made it to Outback New South Wales and we're just going to continue on because we're going to try to get to Cobar tonight and then tomorrow we should be able to get all the way home. So wish us luck. We're on the way to Dunny Doo now, we've just, we managed to bypass Dubbo, that's where Google Maps took us. So today we should actually get home. So three states in three days and Western Australia to a house in four is the plan. Um, so far, so good. The Holden, Colorado is holding up strong and everything else seems to be all right. Boss is equally as annoying as he always is. Just sleeping on the center console. But feels good that we're uh, almost there. So hopefully the rest of the journey goes smoothly and we'll be able to get home safely. This is the road ahead so far. We will need a service station in 300-ish kilometers, but pretty confident we'll see one of those now. So good news. Good news, everyone. We've made it home. All I've got to do is just back the trailer in now and um, Steph's just going to move my car so that we can do that. Boss is stoked. He doesn't have to be on a lead 24-7 anymore. And, um, yeah, 4,000 and something kilometers in four days. Would not recommend it, but got us home quick. So, decent. There's the end kilometers, and uh, I took a photo of the start kilometers, so I'll see if I can chuck that in the video as well. Feels good to have um, finally made it back here. How do you feel to be home? Like, I'm really looking forward to my shower. <laughs> Now we got to unpack everything. Let's get started on that. Good old trusty Holden, Holden Colorado got us home. Boss is upset because he's been so close to us for so long. Now we'll get everything into here. What a journey.